Question number thirteen. For all values as long as x is not equal to negative four, which of the following is equivalent to the expression below? The expression x squared plus twelve x plus thirty two over x plus four. The reason that they say I want to make sure that x is not equal to negative four is because if x was equal to negative four, then on the bottom you will have negative four plus four, which results as zero, and anything divided by zero is undefined. So they just want to make sure that this is a, a legit question. So let me get to work. Well, actually, let's get to work. That's just me, okay? <laughs> x squared plus twelve x plus thirty two. Over x plus four, and how do we simplify this? The key here is we want to simpl um, we want to try to factor the top and bottom, and then we want to cancel out the common factor. So we want to factor it if we can, and then we want to cancel the factors out if they have anything in common. So let me take a look of the top. On the top, so since that it has x squared plus twelve x plus thirty two, it has a three term factoring. Sorry, it has three terms, so our goal is to break down into two parentheses, okay? And then for x squared, you will need to ask yourself what times what will be x squared? Well, x times x is equal to x squared. And then let's move to the thirty-two, the positive thirty-two. What times what is equal to positive thirty-two? You have a lot of choices. One times thirty-two is thirty-two. Two times sixteen is also thirty-two. However, you need to make sure that your choices, your combination, these two numbers, they add up to be positive twelve. So the good combination is plus four, plus eight. Positive four times positive eight produce a positive thirty-two. Four plus eight is exactly twelve. So that's how you factor it, and that's factored by um, trial and error, which we have done it from like question seven, question eight already, right? Over the denominator, which is x plus four, and whenever you have、uh, one thing on the denominator, I can actually put like an invisible parentheses around it because it has the one thing right there. Okay, so as we can see, the top and bottom they both have the x plus four. So cancel, cancel. We can only cancel factors. What you can think about parentheses? Do not reduce the four and the thirty-two right away. We can only cancel the factors. If the two parentheses are exactly the same, so that we will get x plus eight. That's the simplest that we can get x plus eight, which is answer choice B.